So hello and welcome back after yesterday, well yesterday game time's terribly disappointing sw uh, fishing tournament. We are going to go back and just live our life. We do have to go to the museum today. We have things to give, so I'm kind of excited to do that. And it should be open today, which is always good. Rascal will get his treats. I also, if we do happen to see the buffalo, do want to adopt that. Thanks again to Glowworm for the name Tatanka. If we find him, we are totally going to be getting a fun new buffalo, which I'm looking forward to. Hello, girls. Sheep, Chicken Little, Henwin, and of course, Little Peep. Good morning to all of you. We also, looking at it, definitely need to get um, some more pet treats because our darling rascal needs his treats. So we've got a busy day today. It should be a good day, but it will definitely be a busy day. Oh, and Clarabelle gave us some really good milk that should earn us a lot of money. And we got a new title of being a superior livestock breeder. That is kind of awesome. Did I pet you, Ball? Yes. Oh, and Cusco has some wool for us. Thank you, Cusco. Cusco wants a brush. Don't blame him. And let's check on little Ghost here. Hello, Ghost. You are so cute. And a couple more. We've got to get our morning milk from Chocolat. And I do believe say hello to Lady Baba. Alright, well that is all of our animals taken care of. So let's just go ahead and make some yogurt and some butter. There we go. Check on our plants. I don't think I have anything ready to harvest, sadly. And no new, no new seeds ready to go. Alright, well I'm going to get chores done. And I will see you when it's time to head into town. Alright, so chores are done. It is time to find our darling Rascal. I swear I just saw him. Rascal? I think he went inside. You know, with our new beautiful house, who can really blame him? But it's time to go for a walk. Let's go to town, Rascal. Rascal's like, but I was just going in to warm up. Oh, you know what else we need to do, Rascal? Let's see if we can grab all of the cloth that we have managed to make. And maybe, just maybe, we have enough to possibly make ourselves some nice warm winter clothes. We'll see. We will see what we can make with all that. I guess we should probably take maybe some of these dyes, too. You know. I guess that's about all the room we have, though. Well, that's fine. Come on, rascal. We're going to town. Rascal's like, got it, Ma. But before we can do much going to town, let's go do some, oh, cutscenes. Welcome. If you're here for Jack, he's out right now. Well, I was here for pet treats, but you know. I guess we could check on Jack. Belle, did you come all this way just to look for me? Um, sure, yeah. Of course we did, Jack. Well, since you went to all that effort, I guess I should reward you with a present. Okay. Um, I do like presents. I call it the Welcome to Olive Town Yo-Yo. Alright. I made a mountain of these things, thinking I could make our town famous for them, but... 
Cindy told me no one in their right mind would want to buy it, let alone take it for free. I ended up yelling at her for it, and well, here I am. But looking back on it now, I guess I was the one at fault. I gotta go back and apologize to her. He's just a big softy, isn't he? There you are. Cindy's in the back. Make sure you apologize properly. You're the adult here. Cindy, hey, I'm sorry for yelling at you. Please, don't be mad. I'll buy you anything you want. Oh, uh, hey, sorry, about earlier. I, I mean, I, I shouldn't have yelled at you. Give me a snow globe. Huh? Is that all you want? Give me more. More? Wait, wait a minute. Where are you going? To Mikey's place? The beach. What? My big bro's a big idiot! What? I, I mean, if th this is what makes you feel better. Idiot! Wait, you're, you're still going? Stupid! Uh... You still have the one my brother gave you before, right? Give it over! You're gonna throw that one, too? Um... Oh, I am so wondering which option to pick. You know what? This was my present. I like my snow globe. Whew! I was on pins and needles there. Well, that was... Different. Oh, I have to... Oh, no. I don't want to get rid of anything. Uh, no. Careful. All right, we'll, we'll have to remember to come back and get this. Ah. Hello, I do need to get some kitty treats. Which, thankfully, I can get because I have room in my bag. I didn't think this through all that well, did I? All right, we'll get five more pet treats. Um, that, that's it, that gave us six, thank you. No, thank you, Angela. And I also would like to give away some tree sap. There we go. Hey, Jack. <laughs> your, you and your sister's dynamic is definitely interesting. My favorite part of fishing is when the line first sinks into the water and when the fish gets yanked out. Well, that's good to know, I guess. The fishing tournament's my favorite. Watching everyone fish taught me a thing or two. I mean, I guess so. Here, Jack, have some tree <clears throat> sap. All right, I can't forget that I left my rabbit fur in there. Let's real quick go up and see if we can get any clothes, and if we can't, we'll have to go put stuff back so that we have room in I our know. bag. Bonjour, what kind of style are you looking for today? I would like to maybe get a winter outfit. Oh, we can get our white snow coat or the white one with cape. Oh, I like the one with cape, I think. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that is really cute. Give it a little twirl there. I like that. Let's see what's the difference. Why is this one so much so much more expensive? I mean the bottom is a little bit different, but 
You know what? I'm going to go for the one that is less expensive and just as pretty. Alright. We will give over our stuff and our gold. And now we have a beautiful winter outfit that we have to get tomorrow. And we are much more broke. Alright. What else can we do here? Alright. What we're going to do is we're going to run back to the farm. Come on, rascal. We're going to put that stuff away, and then we will come back and go to the museum and check in with the rest of the boys. Come on, rascal. We're, we're not really done yet. I just have to put this stuff away so that we have room. But you know what? We are going to have nice new winter clothing, which I think is pretty darn cool. And we got a yo-yo. I mean, everybody's got to love a yo-yo, right? Right. All right, Rascal, off to the museum before it closes. Rascal's so happy. And hey, it's Raul. How you doing, Raul? He really likes the fishing tournament, and I clicked too quickly, didn't I? Hey, Damon. I know you don't like my cat, but huh. I'll say hello. I've always seen fishing as more of a solo activity, but that's just me. Would you like a uh, piece of tree sap? There you go. Alright, on to the museum. Hey Beth, how's life going? Treating you good? Uh, oh. I had fun watching everyone fish at the tournament. I'm glad. I didn't have fun because I didn't win. I'm just going to pout a little bit about hmm. that again. Fishing is a social activity. Uh, it is. And Rena? Wow! What a tournament! Am I right? I mean, I guess. You know what I really need, oh. Rena, though? I need you to appraise all of these things. Our heavy object was... Flexible cloth. Oh. I would like to find out what this heavy object is. Survey says... Antique Monument. Oh. Very cool. Alright, what about this time-worn object? It is... Regular Claw. Oh. Alright, what's this heavy object? We got a lot of treasures. Antique Accessory. Oh. All right, what about this time-worn one? Mm, more claw. Oh. All right, and this heavy object? It is a silver town oh. medal at last, but not least, hopefully. What is this time-worn object, Miss Rena? A bronze town medal. Well, let's see if we have anything Hello. that's donatable. Let's see, are any of these treasures? Nope, they are all things that we've donated before, which means money. But what about this fish? Nope, we've already donated that too. All right, well, wasn't a fail, because after all, we did get some stuff that we can make some money off of. Mm. Hello, Iori. There's nothing quite like fishing. Indeed, it's like a metaphor for life. Would you like some tree sap? Mm. All right. Up, oh, we still do need to find Ralph. You know, I think that's the bachelor that right now, I, I feel like that's the one that Belle has the biggest soft spot for, but he's the hardest one to track down. <laughs> People seem to enjoy the fishing tournament. I'm afraid I don't get much out of it. Well, huh. I mean, we can't all be perfect now, can we? Alright. Maybe we will locate Mr. Emilio and then head home. Hopefully tomorrow we can get our new winter clothes. I'm so excited for them. I really am. Like, I'm not even lying. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Were you satisfied with your haul at the fishing tournament? No. No, I wasn't. But I will give you some free sauce. Hey, Norman. 
Mm-hmm. That's it for the fishing tournament. I hope to see you at next year's. Oh, you will, and I'm going to win. <laughs> this year's fishing tournament was another huge success thanks to everyone's help. I mean, I guess it was a success. Ah, let's see if our rabbit fur is still in there. Yes, it is. Good. I was not sure if it was going to be gone or not. Especially since we only have a cute little gray rabbit right now. I would not want to not have it. Alright, rascal. Off the leash you go. Yay. Alright, let's ship all of these little extras. And that'll do it pretty much for today. I'm going to run around, get our evening chores done, and I will see you most likely tomorrow right before we go to town. I'm just going to play a little bit off camera so that you don't have to watch all the minutia. Oh my, something's happening. Navi Sprite has shown up. Thanks for purifying the water in the lake. I'll guide you to a place that you might like. Well, this is exciting. Oh my, that's a very big bird. My friend will lead the way. Um, okay. Okay, we're riding on its back. I thought we were going to be riding in claws there. Then it would be something a little more like a horror movie. Oh, this is a very dirty lake. Over here! Since you like clean water, I bet you'll love this place! Huh. A mysterious special location where the shapes of etched carvings fade in and out. It's a big task, but if you're up to the challenge, draining the water in the lake may uncover secrets hidden within. Very cool. Well, you know what? I will totally go back to the farm and we'll get our drains and see how long it's going to take us to drain this here lake. Let's go grab those. I think they're in here. Not that one. I have far too many things. Here we go. Let's go back to the ancient lake really quick. That was a first thing in the morning type thing. Haven't even really visited the animals. But let's go to the ancient lake and set up our water drains. Water drainers, suction pumps, whatever you want to call them. Alright. There we go. Oh. There we go. And we will add our refined coal. And see just how long it takes to drain this here ancient lake. I bet there's good treasures in it. Looks like I'm probably going to have to go to the mines later. But we have a lot to do today. So, let's return to the farm. And I will finish up chores before we head to the town and get our new clothes. And then it looks like I'm going to have to do some mining. Alright, we have got our chores done. It is time to reward ourselves with some nice new clothes. They should be all ready to go. Also, I think we're going to go ahead and run to the store and maybe pick up some more seeds. Oh, except we can't because the store is closed. Oh, this is tragic. Hopefully our clothes will be... I think, I, I think the tailor shop closes on Thursdays. Yes, it does. Good, good, good. Yes, we got the clothes that we ordered. Let's go put them on. I'm so excited. There we go. Very cute. We might have to get a good winter hat, but... For now, we are finally dressed warmly for the season. I'm so excited. Hey, Clemens. <laughs> Fishing is like a battle with yourself. That's what's so great about it. Fishing is pretty fun. 
but I think I've gone on and on about fishing enough. Let's see, I don't think, oh, Mayor and Jackpo. Mm -hmm. Hey there. The fishing tournament is always a valuable experience. I mean, I guess. Hey, Jackpo. <laughs> you know what the best part about the fishing tournament is? Seafood dinner for days. I mean, I guess so. I have almost forgotten all the things that we need. 50 fancy pet treats. Oh, that is so much. And we need olive crystals, raw barrel, and some rubies. Alright, well, we don't have any of that yet. But we do have a lot of crop rewards. Oh, we got a top quality crop, so we got some seeds. We got a town medal for being a livestock breeder. We got another one for being a superior chef. 30 refined coals for going to the ancient lake. We got a, oh, a nice rug for being a large house owner. And some medals for going to the fishing tournament. Well, that's cool. We're going to definitely have to put down our new rug in the house. I actually made a couple of lamps um, off camera that I did put in the house. I'll show them to you when we go home. Oh, well, hello, Dosetu. Ah, Lady Belle, what is the occasion of your visit today? Well, honestly, I'm just seeing if Yori is around, you know. I came to grab a fishing buddy, totally. Is that so? Alas, the young master is currently resting, so I am unable to relay your message at this time. We have a guest? That doesn't disturb me. Send them in. Oh, he's eager. As you wish. Ah, so you are our guest, Belle. As you heard, I commonly rest during this time. As of late, our friend the cat has taken to come in even during the night so that I get little sleep having his shadow constantly hang over me. And yet, now that you are here, I find myself strikingly at ease. I cannot hold out much longer. Allow me to lie down for a time. I mean, oh, okay. Perhaps you should be so kind as to tell me tales of your hometown before I give in to the siren song of slumber. Um... I'm going to reminisce on my blunder years, because if Belle is anything like me, I, I had a lot. Indeed, I have been through similar trials. I can truly sympathize. Oh, and he's asleep. He slumbers at last. What? Who? Where? We meet again. Belle, was it? Tell me. Why do you insist on aiding him? Is this a ghost? You have no words for one such as me, hmm? No matter. But bear this in mind. If you interpose yourself and delay my duty once more, you understand what lies in wait for you, correct? The mystery deepens. Oh, brief though my respite was, I am glad to have slept soundly. Ah, you yet remain. You are surely conscientious. Um, you're, you're, you're being haunted, my dude. I, I think you're being haunted. Mm. I detect some sort of presence near the forest spring. I sense no ill will for, from it. At least, which may mean it's a type of guardian spirit. I mean, maybe. Would you like a flower? Mm. I will accept. And Dosetu, I think you are guarding against <laughs> ghosts, so you can have a flower as well. Alright, let's go see if Ralph is around. Hello, Rascal. Rascal is so cute. Oh, and that noise was just my cat Parky <laughs> jumping up 
right next to the microphone. Many wild animals inhabit the forest. Not all of them are very strong, so I have to take good care of them. Speaking of animals that are possibly not very strong, I don't know if you watch any of my other videos, but I got a short of Tripod, the little three-legged raccoon that's been coming around. Um, honestly, I wouldn't call him not very strong, though. I honestly feel like he is possibly the strongest animal that you're likely to meet. I mean, he only has three legs, and he is doing pretty darn good with life. Hey, Emilio. Yeah. Papa is a true fisherman. I always joke around saying he is the row set a stone of fishing. But I got a long way to go if I want to catch up to him. That was the worst pun I think I've heard in a long time, Emilio. But you know what? There's always a place for dad jokes. Alright, well... Since I can't buy seeds today, I think I am going to go home in my fancy new outfit, looking all warm and cozy, and I'm going to do some mining and finish off this day, and then maybe we'll do one more day. So I'm going to go play in the mines. All right. We got a few things in the mines. No gems, unfortunately. But I can show you the beautiful lamp that we put out here. It casts a quite nice little glow on our darling bell. We're going to ship a couple more things here. Our yogurt, some pepper, and then we're going to go put our rug down, probably upstairs, because that's where I put the lamp that Bell made. So as you can see, we have this very nice lamp. And we can also set down this beautiful blue rug. Oh, that's very nice. All right, well, Belle is going to head to bed, and I will see you probably after chores. We're going to run into town tomorrow. We need to get some seeds. We need to visit all of our friends and just generally get a few more things done. I think, I'm thinking maybe it's time to expand our bag if we can afford it and get that final row. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, well, chores are done. Rascal is, oops, accidentally left off the leash. Sorry, Rascal, I did not mean to let you off. I meant to put you on. Come on, let's go to town. We need to get some seeds. We need to maybe breed an animal or two. Maybe. We need to visit with all of our friends. Hello, <laughs> Jesse. I haven't seen you in days. I'm so glad that Angela and Cindy had a good time at the fishing tournament. Uh. I had fun talking with Nguyen about the old days after the tournament. Yeah, I bet you did. Hey, Cindy. Uh -huh. All of Nguyen's tips really came in handy during the fishing tournament. That mm. looks like you're still eating fish. I'm not a big fan of the cold, but I always get excited when it snows. Eh, I mean, I guess I can understand mm. that. All right, Miss Angela, we need to buy some seeds. Ah. Let's see what we can get here. We've got potato seeds. Or we've got potatoes anyway. Let's get some... Let's get some carrots. And... Maybe some burdock. We've got plenty of broccoli. Maybe we'll get a couple more daikon radishes. And then let's get some mushrooms. I think we get the best return on our investment with the coral mushrooms. You know, let's look at her furniture. What has she got here? Desk lamps, standing lamps. No, I, I don't need really lamps. I'm thinking a chair, inconceivable painting. 
Inconceivable! How can this painting exist? What does it add to a room? Well, you'll just have to find that out, won't you? I mean, we could get a painting. It's also $10,000 or 10,000 gold, so maybe not. Maybe we'll just wait. No, thank you, Angela. We aren't quite rich enough to afford your furniture yet. But let's check in too and see about maybe expanding our bag. Hey, Clem. Hey. Clemen says, what's going on? All right, so that would be almost all of our gold, but it would give us enough room to actually hold stuff. So I feel like this is a probably good investment. Our bag is bigger now. No, Clem, I think that is plenty. But thank you. Well, that was pretty cool. I guess maybe... Maybe we'll get one of our chickens bread as well after we say hello to Damon, who's also eating fish. I feel like everybody is eating fish around here. Motorcycle ride is the best thrill life's got to offer. There's no other way to get that same feeling of the wind in your hair. I mean, I guess. Huh. I don't know. I'm more of a walking type. I mean, motorcycles, they're, they're kind of cool, but I'm definitely more of one who just likes to go for walks. Hey, Ori. How's life treating you? This town is splendidly idyllic. Do you not agree? It is pretty nice. Mm. There you go, sir. Ralph, are you hanging around anywhere? Let's see. Ah, found him. Hello. Hello. As I'm sure you know, wild animals are extremely sensitive to human movements. If you plan on approaching one, do it slow and careful. That is excellent advice, huh. Ralph. Thank you. All right, I think we just need to track down Mr. Emilio. And then we will probably call it for the day. Come on, Rascal, I don't want to lose you. Actually, let's get some flower seeds as well. Oh, well. Hello, Nian. That you, Iori? Come to think of it, I did say I'd go fishing with you today, didn't I? Oh, you're not him. Guess I'll go back to sleep. Wait. Tell me, do you like fishing? Yeah, I think I do. I'm an angler at heart. That's so. Then would you mind helping me out? Yori and I are fishing buddies, see? When we started out, I was the bastard and he was the apprentice. But now, he's the one hooking all the lunkers. I feel like I've lost my edge. Even at my age, it's hard to accept a loss. What do you suppose I should do to land my next big catch? Um, become one with the bait. Yes, I see. So I'll be the bait and you'll take the fishing rod and... No, no, that won't work. Well, in any case, thank you. I think I can come out ahead today. <sighs> Sounds like another nap is in store for me. Tell Yori it's here. Thanks for listening to this old man's fretting. Not a problem, sir. And now I would like to oh. buy some seeds from you. Ooh, I would like two of those and some primrose. Those sound beautiful. And some more begonias because those are also beautiful. Nope, thank you. All right. So let's go back to the farm after we maybe locate Emilio. 
Emilio, I see lots of other people. There he is. Hey, Emilio. <laughs> when I play guitar, Mama always starts dancing to it. She says whenever she hears a good tune, she's just gotta move her feet. You know, I, I do enjoy dancing. I'm just not good at it. But I can, I can understand that. If somebody was playing the guitar close by me, I would probably want to dance as well. Alright, let's get this stuff planted, and then I think we're probably, like I said, gonna call it for the day. There you go, rascal. That was a lot of fun. But let's definitely see if we can plant some... Things. Let's plant some carrots. I mean, that does seem to be the secret to making money, actually. Having things in the ground. And we'll plant some burdock. And we'll plant some daikon radishes. Which sounds kind of delicious. And then we will also put some mushroom spores on here. There we go. We'll put the extra mushroom spores away. And go plant a few flowers because everything is better with flowers. We'll put the cinraria sin, sin, right there. I can speak, I really can. And we will plant some primroses right here. And then we're going to plant these begonias right here. And we have a couple more seeds in our seed maker that we're just waiting on to finish. And once they do, I will plant those as well. Alright, well, I feel like we had a very successful day. I still have not seen the buffalo. I'm wondering if maybe... Maybe I suddenly am in the wrong season for it? Entirely possible. But I feel like we had a very good day. And I will see you next week when we continue on. Let's see really quick before I say goodbye. Yep, we've got just a couple weeks of nothing and isn't that just like late winter? always the way it is in real life as well. So, until later, from me, and Belle, and Rascal, and all of our wonderful sprites, I will see you next time. Have a good one.